Imagine if you didn't clean your house or the city where you live hadn't been cleaned for about 70 years. What'll happen? Do you want to live there? I bet no one wants to live there, right? But in reality, there's a place for about 70 years nobody cleaned the trash in. Yep, we're talking about space junk. This has caused a lot of worry for scientists and other related fields. The question is, who can solve this? It seems that Elon Musk helped us answer that question when he proposed a genius idea to use their current world's largest rocket, Starship, to clean space junk. Pretty interesting, right? So, why do scientists worry about this problem so much? How can SpaceX's Starship clean up space junk? Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The development of the aerospace industry has truly helped the exploration boundary and human understanding of the universe to be continuously expanded. Based on that, humans have gradually reached the most insane miracles like landing humans on the moon or building a space station. But those achievements have also left behind many problems. In particular, one of the problems that has emerged for many decades is space junk. Since the Sputnik 1 satellite, the first object was sent into space in 1957. To date, space outside the Earth has countless pieces of space junk and debris. So where does this junk come from? Well, it's our space missions that created these problems. It could have come from a spacecraft that exploded during a space mission, could be unburnt debris from a certain satellite, or it could be part of a spacecraft that falls off when it flies at high speed and lots of other stuff. According to statistics from the European Space Agency, ESA, as of November 2023, the World's Space Surveillance Network has recorded 35,610 pieces of debris larger than 10 centimeters. About a million pieces of debris from 1 to 10 centimeters, and that number is also up to 130 million with debris under 1 centimeter. That is crazy. Regardless of size, space junk is also extremely dangerous. For example, an object about 10 centimeters can destroy a medium-sized satellite. An object about 1 centimeter can break the ISS's protective shield. And even a tiny object only about a millimeter can completely reduce a flight's performance and make vehicles not able to reach their targets. And with the aforementioned huge number, perhaps we understand now why space junk is very dangerous. Besides the aerospace industry, astronomy is also greatly affected by space junk. Thick layers of debris can obscure the views of telescopes, and they can even reflect light, leading to mistakes in observations. This is the issue that causes a lot of controversy among the astronomy and aerospace communities. In addition, the increase in space junk will also increase the rate they'll pass through the atmosphere and fall back to Earth. These will be disasters that can cause damage to people, property, commercial aviation, and lots more. More than ever, we need the most optimal solution to handle this problem. And with its great potential, SpaceX's Starship is clearly the best choice. This is thanks to its payload capabilities. Currently, each Starship spacecraft will have a height of 50 meters and a diameter of 9 meters, of which the usable payload compartment will be more than 1,000 cubic meters, which can carry 100 to 150 tons of payload. Therefore, it can collect space waste faster and more effectively than any other current vehicle. Additionally, Starship is also the most powerful rocket in the world today. Not only superior in both payload and power, Starship also has another advantage, its ability to be reused. That means they can launch a lot of Starships without having to create new prototypes. Not only helps SpaceX saving a lot of costs, but it'll also help the price per mission be greatly reduced. This is the advantage that shows that no other vehicle in the aerospace industry today is more suitable than Starship for this mission. This was confirmed by Gwen Shotwell in 2020. It's not going to be easy, but I do believe that Starship offers the possibility of going and doing that. Then in 2021, Elon Musk also tweeted that they can fly Starship around space and chop up debris with a moving fairing door. In basic principle, Starship will open its fairing compartment the same way giant fish hunt their prey in the ocean. It'll open up to suck junk into the payload bay until it's full and then take it to a designated place, possibly back to Earth, to burn it. Another way that's been thought of is using nets. The Starship spacecraft will use a net to collect junk, and once full, it'll be pushed into the atmosphere to burn. The advantage of this method will be that there's no limit in payload capacity, which will rely on the power of Starship. It can be seen that these two ideas promote Starship's most outstanding strengths, payload and power. It's really worth considering and applying in practice. However, there will still be many challenges waiting for SpaceX. 
Firstly, the workload for this task is going to be huge. More and more countries enter the space race, which means more and more vehicles are going to be launched. For example, last year in 2023, there were 223 space missions conducted, 20% more than in 2022 and 53% more than in 2021. In 2024, the number of space missions will increase even more, much more. In the next few years, the ISS, the largest man-made structure of humanity, will retire. Let's think about how much space junk is going to appear given that data. Or we can mention SpaceX when their Starlink system was recently criticized by the FAA for the risk of causing space debris. The FAA estimates that Starlink is causing more than 85% of the risk to humans in aviation due to debris from deorbited satellites. According to the 2019 license, SpaceX will be able to develop a system of 12,000 satellites. This number will even increase to 40,000 if receiving international approval. The FAA believes that at the current rate of development, the Starlink system could create 28,000 pieces of debris by 2035. If this really comes true, that'll be an extremely large amount of junk. Those are objective challenges. So what about subjective factors? Well, the problem with SpaceX right now is to get Starship into stable operation. Only when this is done can Starship fully participate in a difficult task like cleaning up space junk. Currently, Starship's still in the testing phase and it has not yet been able to achieve their important goals like getting into orbit or landing stages. It'll be a problem that SpaceX needs to solve soon before thinking about other goals. If successful with those goals, SpaceX will continue to face other problems. They need a huge number of Starships to carry out the junk cleanup task, and it'll require enormous production and launch demands. Last but not least, they'll still encounter barriers related to competition. Because space junk in orbit comes from many organizations that can be direct competitors to SpaceX. Maybe they'll object to that plan as they worry that SpaceX is collecting that waste and it'll lead to leaked design secrets. Although SpaceX has the best technology in the world and they probably wouldn't care about it, their competitors might not think so. That'll be a big obstacle SpaceX needs to resolve before proceeding with space debris cleanup work. But after all, organizations will soon have to come to a final agreement in solving the problem of orbital debris because it's truly an extremely urgent issue. And before any new ideas come up, all the trust now will be placed on SpaceX and Starship. Right now, it seems only these names are truly enough to take that important task on. Challenges will come, but there will also be great opportunities for Starship. That'll be the time we discover a new potential for the world's largest rocket. We're so familiar with Starship's concepts like moon landing or Mars colonizations. And now, Starship will help humanity literally remove barriers on the path to space. That feat will demonstrate a comprehensive role and influence that no other missile can have. At that time, no other rockets will be more worthy than Starship for the title of Big Brother of the New Rocket Generation. And that will be the most convincing answer to the question, why did SpaceX create Starship? That's all for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.